happy friday hello 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 oh my goodness i'm so tired what's up babies oh don't you do this shit to me don't you do it don't you start with me i just fixed this shit uh-uh nope <laughs> okay cool <laughs> hi guys Oh, welcome in. Welcome in. Jabby, hello, my love. How are you? Dyra, race, race to the lair winner. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Welcome in, guys. Dyra, I'm so glad you're here for dad game. This the spirit of you. Oh, God. I just spent... I'm sorry I'm late, guys. I just spent about 20 minutes fighting with this thing. I think I left it on after class one day, and it just, uh, you know, you know. Beanie life! That's right, step bro. Hell yeah. Beanie life for life. Um... Yeah, so, but it's fixed, apparently. About had a mini panic attack just now when that did that, so thank you for that. I needed a little extra cortisol in my diet. <sighs> man, oh man. Guys, I'm like smack dab in the fucking middle of moving. It's happening right now. I'm officially, like I went in today and I signed all this stuff and they were like, don't go. I was like, I'm leaving. How about you lower my rent? And they were like, no. I was like, well, I'm leaving. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Things are gonna be great. Um, I've got a month. Um, so thank you so much for uh, just kind of bearing with me this month. I don't have any idea what's gonna happen as far as my PC, but I will let you know. In the Discord, make sure you in the Discord. Speaking of Discord, I'm in the live chat right now if you wanna send me things. Oh, man. Man, man, I got an 82 on my pharmacology test. That's fucking right, bitch. Thank you, Dyro, for sending me things. I appreciate that. <laughs> ah. Oh, it looks like Step Bros started to have a conversation. The live chat the live chat is for when we're live, so that's why nobody said anything. Sorry about that, homie. <laughs> the live chat's just so you guys can pester me during the stream. So, you know. <sighs> that's okay. I'm a noob at life in general. It'll never, it'll never, uh, it'll never end. I'm gonna be 87 and be like, what the fuck's going on? I don't know. Um, we are going to Dream Daddy tonight. Super excited. I feel like we cut off perfectly last Friday because we had just, like, met all the dads. But I mean... We have one goal. And it's to fuck that sweet vampire ass, okay? We're doing it. I'm gonna fuck Damien. Sorry, not sorry. It's gonna happen. Uh, see, I'm glad that we waited and we didn't just sleep with Robert on the first night, you know? See, you gotta wait. You gotta see all the fishes. Um, it'll be up to you guys if you wanna do... Uh, if you wanna do all the dads or if you just want me to do this run. This run is my run. So this is where we're fucking Damien, silly. It's gonna be so fun. Um, but... I don't know if you guys want to see the others. If you do, if you're enjoying it, then we'll, we'll go back and we can do as many things. We can fucking go back and sleep with Robert on the first day. We can fucking date Sapper. That'll be funny. My timer just fell. You should be. All right, motivated some writing lore. Ooh, a D and D campaign. That's fucking right, Jappy. You understand me. You know. You know this. You get it. Alright, let's get it up. I'm so tired. I have done so much shit this week. I just can't even. I'm tired of moving things. I'm tired of. I want my home to be put back together. But, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Hey, Polly! Welcome in! Hell yeah, let's fucking do it. Okay, we're continuing. Oh man, this does. This is so nice. It loads, it, it saves some individual spots. That's nice. Dad tip don't smoke. God damn it. I'm ready for all the puns. Yeah, Sapper's here. How am you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Zesty! Welcome in. I love you, too. I love you both so much. 
Um, so yeah, we just met everybody, and I don't fucking know what's gonna happen next. So, all right, Amanda walk back. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Huh. Pretty fun party, don't you think? I mean, I got a burger in me. I felt like I was at a networking event. <laughs> Wish I could have been playing Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. Hmm. I'm about that Taurus life. Free food. Let's go. Sweetie, if I can impart any sort of wisdom upon you right now, and not that this is a bad situation, but if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for the silver lining. The silver lining gets you through to the other side. We ate rockin' burgs today, and it was good. Amen, she says. What about me? You're, so you're in this game, Sapper. I want to play Paranormal Ice Truckers, too. I fucking- that sounds like a good time. That'd be fantastic. Maybe hmm. they'll let us. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. I'm fucking gonna. Maybe I will. Imagine if Dad Book was a real thing. Can you imagine? Dyro would be their president. <laughs> Dad Book. Fuck yeah. Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Adorable. Eh? Man and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. It's because it's fucking shit. <sighs> Any big plans for this evening? Oh, uh, because you're... Not <laughs> allowed because you're not a dad. Oh, it's a secret thing. Fucking Insta Dilf. <laughs> Hit me up on Insta Dilf, bruh. Fuck yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Hmm. Is that okay? Oh no, I'm gonna be lonely and sad. Of course, just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Hmm? You got it. And be careful. Yeah. I will make good choices, of course, and call me if you need yeah. anything. Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? <laughs> what? No. I've never done that, and I will never do that. Hmm. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, uh, my plans were kind of to eat cr ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. Oh, <laughs> it hurts! It fucking hurts! This poor man. <sighs> Norm's restaurant. What the fuck? Got lit at Norm's? <laughs> What the fuck is going on in this live chat? Hell yeah, that's one hell of a pick, Jappy. What is this? I meant I heard all the time that my name is Twilight and that I look like Edward Cullen. <laughs> so I'm done with the vampire. Sh I'm so sorry. That sounds that sounds rough. That sounds like a bad time. All right, I'm gonna work on some stuff. See how long I can sleep for. Throw a party. This one is the reality. This is always the answer. But will that make her sad? Let's work let's work on some stuff. I'm gonna work on looking at the back of my eyelids, you know? You know, dad stuff. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great, see you later. Watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gabin Chapnin. Did I say Gabin Gabnin Chapnin? My brain is- my cortex is melting. It's happening right before your eyes, guys. It's happening with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. Ga- Gabman. <laughs> I'd love to be able to cook like that, although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil. Like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. This man lives a hard life. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. <sighs> I'll lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. Yeah, so this sounds like fucking the Food Network. Hooked on phonics to your new future. You watch your mouth. I know words. Some of them. Meat Hill, Meat Hill and Meat Hell. Do chickens think that we look little- I mean, chickens are little raptors. I'm sure they think we look delicious. If they were bigger, dude, they'd be so fucking scary. Glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? 
corner into the kitchen. As I wait for a reply, Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. She's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. Reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. Yeah, big chickens, like huge fucking chickens. That would be scary. It'd be really scary. I check my watch again and then my phone, nothing yet. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? This is too much. This is too real. No, no. It's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episode of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only not assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come home. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? She, you fucking do, you dipshit. We had a whole conversation with her about it. There, yeah, M who is MP? Decided to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know if you're okay. I can't help but think of all those awful things that could have happened to her. Oh my god. Okay, thank god, it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally, she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup? Bitch, where were you? Sweetie, thank God you're Aww. safe. Oh, uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Uh. Oh, whoops, I guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann. Mm. Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't re respond to any of my text messages. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Mm. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go to off to school, are you? I don't ha like your attitude. I have a right to be concerned. I was so scared. Uh, I have a right to be concerned. You're my only daughter. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything I do all the time. I'm 18. You should have been... Shouldn't even be giving me a curfew in the first place. Oh, shit. She's going to be a bad bitch. Stop it. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please don't do mm. that again. Mm. All right. I'm going to go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling to sleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? It's going to happen so soon and we're so sad. definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. <sighs> Food is always a peace offering. I'm into it. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Hey, thought about what you said last night. Mm -hmm. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Fucking parenting. That's right. That's right. Well... I'm sorry for freaking out on you. I trust you to make good choices. Good. I'm sorry for freaking out on you. Always say sorry to your kids. You're an adult now. I shouldn't have gotten so worked mm. up. Team Crocus. Fucking Team Crocus, guys. Team Crocus. Man, that gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Already yes. did. Bless you. And it scarfs down the eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. Right, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before mm. you go. Team Crocus! That's our name! That's our family name! Team Crochet would be pretty good too. I should have made our last name Team Crochet. What? What's Dad Book? Ugh. It's a social media platform. How does she know about it? I thought this was a secret, Dyro. Hmm. What? What's a social media platform? <laughs> dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a Dad Book profile on my own. Hmm. Alright, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. <sighs> Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on Dadbook, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Aww. All right, Pops, we got to fill out your profile. Let's get me some likes and dislikes. On a Friday night, you are most likely to... Oof. Uh, polish and sort, sort my coin collection? Netflix and grill, fall asleep watching the History Channel, torment my children with dad puns, sink into blissful oblivion. Ooh. Friday night. I mean, fall asleep watching the History Channel sounds pretty fun. That sounds like a good Friday night to me. I'm kind of down. 
but also sink into blissful oblivion. Let's, let's, let's not depress everyone. Let's just, you know, pretend. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert, desert island, what would it be? Trusty grill, lost shaker of salt, castaway on DVD for instructional purposes, a boat, obviously, I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. This one's pretty funny. And this this one sat like No, cuz you you I'm a dad. I would just make the boat. Let's mm, cast away, for sure. What are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms. Tennis shoes with long white socks. A well manicured lawn. Street smarts, top tier grillmanship, comfortable with crying. Uh Do we be real? Strong dad arms. What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, technical writer for manuals and instructionals. <laughs> Salty boat captain, pro skater, who is also an astronaut. A good father, the president of space. Pro skater who is also an astronaut? Can you imagine? I'm fucking in. That sounds fun. What's your favorite movie genre? War documentary, Sean Connery's entire filmography. Anything on laser disc? <laughs> Romantic comedies. Whatever will make me cry. Old comedies that haven't aged well. Oh, God. Can we talk about this? Can we talk about this shit? I'll go back and I'll be like, I fucking love this movie. And then I'm like, whoa! I, I don't remember that. And it's so frustrating. Because it's it'll be like a movie. I'm like, God damn it, I liked this movie. Ah. Times are different, man. We weren't as we weren't as thoughtful as we are these days, you know. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Ugh. Um, anything on Laserdisc is pretty funny. What's your ideal date? Napping together, doing a thousand-piece puzzle together, eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m., trying to geocache, but geocache, but getting hopelessly lost. Arson. Oh, okay. Being emotionally vulnerable. These, <laughs> there is a widespread of activities here. Um, 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 um. I've never tried geocaching, but it sounds super fun. So it sounds like a little, little pirate adventure, and I'm kind of into it. I wish, I wish I had the time. The many fa facets of the dance. Yes, dude. <sighs> Now, in reality, I fucking love puzzles, so I would love to do a puzzle. Hmm. And that's a good date. That's a good. Oh, but this one's like adventure-y date. Let's let's geocache. What do you never leave home without? Sensible cardigan, my sick vape, my book of word jumbles and a pen, a cool knife, my crippling low self-esteem. I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. This is me. This is me right here. Um. I feel like our dad gives off a word jumbles, kind of. He seems word jumbly. Yeah, all of. Is there an all of the above option, please? I spent a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. How proud I am of my child. Potential ends of the world. If I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill, I can get my next cup of coffee. Lawnmower modifications. Hmm. Let's put a wholesome in here, just to sprinkle it in, you know? How proud I am of my child. Profile complete. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, it was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. Yeah. You should message one of them. Or more than one of them. All of these ads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Huh. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, Dad. Oh, we gonna. Welcome. You've got dads. Oh, here she, she has a mustache and a monocle. It's me, your dear old friend from the way back in the day, Dad Manda. I'm delighted to see you've signed up for F Dad Book. They've recently added this exciting new messenger service, so you may find yourself receiving messages from other dads like myself. Take care not to miss them. Amanda, is that you? What are you doing on Dad Book? Why crooked? I never. We've known each other since business school. 
How could you possibly confuse me for your amazing and talented and easy to buy things for daughter? Though I am, of course, flattered. You should buy Amanda more things. Amanda, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait. No. Wow. I didn't say that. You never heard that. <laughs> I was a great student, I swear. I graduated the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. Totally holding on to this for later. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? She doesn't. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Cool. Conversation ended. All right, what a great conversation we just had. All right, let's just fucking go through this shit, right? Start with jogging with a baby, man. Dad of three, business entrepreneur, and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's gonna do it. Friday night, most likely to get one last good cardio- oh god. Box of energy bars. Oh no. A six minute mile? This man's insane! It'd be when you grow up. Beer pong world champion. Okay, that's- I'm, I, that sounds fun. Buddy cop movies. Scaling a huge, dangerous mountain for fun. This- I would die. We're old, man. Craig, get it together. Never leave home without an extra tube of energy gel. Why does it have to be gel? Do they make G Fuel gel? I'm into it. My miles- I spent a lot of time- my mile time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? Should we just message everyone? That sounds kind of fun. Hey, man. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I never get to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey bro, should I say neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig that was so quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders. But it'll still be fun. Wait a minute, did I make a mistake? I can't just, like, talk to everyone? Am I gonna fucking go on a date with this man? I don't wanna run. He can't make me run. We exchange a couple more messages and logs off to prep for the game. Oh, okay. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. Walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. Huh. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece, but... Her eyes are a little puffy. Almost as if she's been crying! Hey, are you all right? I'm fine. No, you're not, bitch. She got sad because I realized that dogs are too often killed, often movies, to elicit emotional reactions from the audience instead of being given the respect that they deserve. Fucking, this is my child. Yes, it's not right. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? You have to tell me what's actually wrong. Dogs deserve better than this. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? If there's, you know, anything going on. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. I'm always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Eh? Thanks, Popsicle. I appreciate oh. that, but I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. What you working on? Oh. Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. <laughs> That's a lot of dogs. <laughs> oh. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? God uh. damn it, I don't wanna go to a fucking softball game! That one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then one, you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball towards me and I just ran off crying to the field! And then you hid in the dugout. It would scream if I tried to pick you up. Yes, uh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic, sentient softball. So does that mean you don't wanna go? Cindy, thank you for the five biddies! Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Aww. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to go to a softball game. Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local soft. What have we gotten ourselves into? Softball field for a kid's softball game. It's pretty packed. Clamor up the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig Ugh. anywhere. So when do the kids start crying and running off of the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Mm. 
For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. That's if that's a lie. Everyone loves watching children cry. As long as the child is okay, it's hilarious. Okay, stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Definitely not that. The game starts and the kid- He's still got this fucking kid- tr tr <sighs> Strapped to his fucking- This kid's gonna get shaken baby syndrome. The game starts and the kids run out in the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. His river strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's their map. What's the team? The pancakes? I don't understand. Grunton, welcome in. Hello. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's a Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks. I don't know. Choke on the up on the bat, Miranda. Yeah, Miranda, square up. How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. Mm. But yelling is fun. Hey. Give it a shot. It's cathartic. Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> this, is a, this is a key moment. Being a dad at a sports game is a key fucking moment. What's important is that you're having fun. See, this would just be, like, this is the reality of it. But you don't want to fucking yell that. Keep your eye on the ball. And also an eye on the bat. And the outfield. And the other players. Just keep your eye on all that stuff simultaneously. Hey. Nice. Watch a couple of innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig trained his team pretty well. Seems like he's really good with kids. Keg Stan Craig is good with children. Whoa. Ah. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball. And how no one, no one has run off of the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Mm. Let it go. I'm perfectly fine. Opposing teen is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into the center field. Tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. <laughs> See? It's a completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. I played softball and I can't remember if there was a bunch of crying. I don't remember. I don't remember crying in softball other than for other reasons. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. The game resumes after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Asats seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating <laughs> fistfuls of grass. These are our homies. These are our friends. Batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. Put your hand out, you bitch. What the fuck's happening? Open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Huh? I caught the ball. You saved me. <laughs> Darn, that one played absolutely no attention to the game. Zesty, yes, I was one of the best dancers in the fucking softball game. I danced every time I made it to a base. I was so excited. I was a bad bitch, and I never stopped. <sighs> good times, good times. Yeah, I, I don't... <laughs> I guess part of it's just teaching you how to like play a sport and follow along with rules. I don't know. It's kind of like preschool. Like preschool is not really school. It's just like, hey, can you sit in a chair and fucking be still? I don't know. <laughs> I caught the ball. Dad, I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. Face my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Always. Bad bitch energy. That's why I said I never stopped. We never stopped. Bad bitch forever. Forever and ever. No matter what anyone says. There's so much crying in girls' hockey. What do you mean? Like, like adult? Like women's hockey or girls' hockey? Me and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's, Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake mm -hmm. hands. Great job, everyone. Walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Mm. Thanks, we've been working hard all season. It's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Oh, they're cute. Hello. Hey, killer play on, playing out there. Yeah, you guys rule. 1,214 under. Oh, God, I can't even imagine. 
So I can't, Sapper, I can't see you dealing with like little crying girls. That sounds like a bad time. Like you would be like, oh God, I don't know. Are you like a kid's person? I don't know. Valorous, welcome in. Hello, hello. You guys are twins, huh? So which of you want is the evil one? <laughs> Hazel. Yeah, it's me. See, we always know. Huh. Good looking out. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if it did, it would be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. What? Oh. We will talk about this later. Huh? Crooked, bro. I just got a couple more things to clean up, and then we can hang. Sounds good. I don't want to hang with this man. I didn't realize. I thought I could just talk to everyone. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. Taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Swap to break up with others' boyfriend for them. <gasps> That's, I, that's fucking brilliant. What a, <laughs> I've never thought of that. Why do I feel like I'm interrupting something with your dads? Creeper, welcome in. You're not. We made a mistake and now I'm fucking, I'm, I don't know if I'm on a date with this man. I just thought I would talk to everyone and he was the first one on the list. Now I have to sit here with him and his stupid cabbage patch kid. It's attached to him when I just want to fuck the sick ass vampire guy. Child are the best, children are the best minus the asshole kids. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. I struggle with kids because I can't tell what age kids are. I don't get it at all. Like from like five to like 14, I swear to God, they're all, I'm like, what, how old is this child? I don't know how to talk to them. Am I talking to them and like, we're on an adventure and like I can say things that are real type of thing. Or am I talking to them like in a way that I don't make them feel like they're stupid? You know, I just can't do it. I can't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't like kids. Amanda and I share a look. Hmm. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Hmm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? Huh. What? What? It's a real place? <laughs> I don't want to go to fucking Thirsty's Pizza. Another stream of, oh God. We're never making this mistake again. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I are trailed behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back oh. in the day. A cat here just attacked me. Did anyone see that? That, that happened. Most angsty young kids like cartoon. I, I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. The kids I babysit are sick ass kids, but it always takes me a minute to like, figure them out, you know, because I'm like, okay, where are, and there's like, that's, <sighs> I have babysat a lot of really smart kids, which is very confusing because they're still into like imagination games and all of that, but also they're like smarter than me. And it's very, I guess I'm kind of into imagination games, huh? I just, that's all that writing is. It's just all in your brain. <laughs> I don't know. Just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside. Ooh. Pizzacos. I can never forget. How do we survive college? Mm -hmm. Bodies were younger back then, more elastic. We're able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. <laughs> Good old days. Kids run around, playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Man and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Mm. Hey, give me a pizza of that. Whoa! No, absolutely not. Ha, huh, I'm just kidding. Strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Huh? Dad. Different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Martha, Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, well, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Thirsty's pizza, huh? This is where everyone comes to thirst? I get it. Man and I look at each other again. Craig's getting it from all angles. God damn it, this poor man. Craig smiles sheepishly. I... 
thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Create a diversion. Tag team with Amanda. Smokescreen Martha. Tag team- Amanda's fucking hilarious. Let's do this. I give Amanda another knowing look and she hits me back with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. I oh, know, sweetie, you're gonna have to projectile vomit everywhere, aren't you? <laughs> there, I think I'm going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. <laughs> Back it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning and it's feeling pretty acidic. You'll be fine. Fuck this bitch. Mana shoots me a worried look. This con is going sideways. I should have so known that a mom of all people would know the fake puke scam. God damn it. I'm gonna read Sun Tzu. I've, heard, I've wanted to read The Art of War. I think it's a thing that you should fucking, I don't know, just to see what's going on, you know? Mostly, st I, I love me some Stephen King. Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. If you guys are readers, go um, on my about page. I have uh, the link to my, uh, what the fuck is it called? My Goodreads. I want to read with you guys, please. Please go over there and add me. I want to see what you're reading and read your reviews and stuff. Uh, well, I guess it went away and I'm fine now and nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could always use help watching after everyone tonight, if you're not doing anything. This lady is really going for gold. Gross. <laughs> It'd be ni actually nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. This man is swimming in the puss. Mm. Aunt Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza in a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine! I swear if we have to buy it... Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah. The team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat those tokens! Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. I don't want to talk to this man! His child's staring at me. It's freaking me out. Man, you're a busy guy, nice. huh? Only in days like today, I hope. Dad. Mm. I love them. They're so cute. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please Hi. help. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. <laughs> but, Dad. Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. I don't know. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today. This is a, the lies. Lies and slander. But it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. Definitely wasn't like this in college. I think I feel like we might be a third wheel here. There's worse places than an arcade to be left with to your own devices. Ugh. You're right. Want to drop some coin on pinball? You know it. Man, and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets a multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Aww. Don't patronize me. <laughs> what do you mean, bitch? I was telling you you're good. Hey, just trying to pay a call. She shushes me. She's in her zen zone. That's right, don't mess with the gamer. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. Friends with Craig, right? Oh no. Oh no. She's gonna be like, so. You wanna help me suck his dick? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. God damn it. Yeah, we went to college together. Please don't lean on my thing. <laughs> huh? That's so interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? I honestly don't know if I could say. Mm. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great mm. if he... <laughs> Lady, I swear to God. 
All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. No, this bitch. Huh? You stone harpy. <laughs> what? Ugh. I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Dude. Bro, what's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here, now we're gonna get stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say something, some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Hmm. Oh no. God damn it. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the truck of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. No, I don't want to play! Up for some catch? This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab. There's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Mm. You're telling me I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. Mm. <laughs> it was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out. With Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. I just realized the noise it's making is us catching the ball, and that's really cute. That's a good, I like that, And when the screen shakes. Ask about coaching softball, ask about the business, ask about the kids. That's enough for now. That's enough mm. for now. It's nice out here, quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit, huh? I don't know. Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Mm -hmm. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. Uh, I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? I don't know. Oh. Peace and quiet. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. That hot, hot silence. Bro. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Fucking heard you there, man. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. No. I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear oh. you. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. Doing a great job. The right person will come along eventually. Hit softballs, don't get hit on by moms. Uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, you're doing a great job. Those kids love you. And to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing down right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. Mm. That means a lot coming from you. Well, I'm distracted. I missed the softball and... Hits me right on the head. Wow, that hurts. <laughs> Amanda was right all along. Mm. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to oh. me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the, da the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment oh. examining my head. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Hey! You would be so lucky. That was a plan. That oh. Kissing is for the weak. And I'm super strong. I do a couple push-ups to prove how strong I am. Regular ones, not the modified ones. Those are for quitters and people with good knees. I'm a strong dad who's capable of raising children, despite past mishaps with projectile objects. Mm -hmm. Easy there, tiger. <laughs> Get up and dust myself off. The river yawns. Hey, little buddy. You must be getting tired, huh? Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older, and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. I remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Hey. <laughs> How could I forget? You and me hopped over the concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh... He said, oh. <laughs> Could you imagine the look on their faces? We just walked straight past them, like we were out for a stroll. Not knowing what we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. <sighs> we had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them that you were interested in going, joining the oh. academy. And they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest thir 30 minutes of my life. I don't know why I have the hiccups, man. 
college. Oh. Good old days, right? We back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug, or at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Oh. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? No. Don't tell him you like that. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her college collage glue stick in hand, burning the midnight art oil. Figuring I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. <laughs> do the sharps li sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Mm -hmm. Welcome in, Melty. Hello. Yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the others, it's Amanda. Is that me? Mm. Yep, the whole thing is about my goals for the future. Those are basically just sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutual supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, now you've done it. I'm 20. Thank you so much, Melty. You're the best. Cheers to you, homie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, shout out to Melty for fucking running the shit out of our Minecraft server. Server would not... It's it's not... We're not able to fucking do any of that shit without him. Go follow Melt. Do it. Do the thing. I can do this. I'm doing it. I think all my mods are asleep. Do it, guys. Go go hang out with our friend. You're gonna love it. There's another dab. Do it. Do it, do it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. <laughs> it's happening. Hmm. Aw, dad, you did this with your good art. She pats me on the hmm. back. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It's good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. The softball life isn't for quitters. Oh, you playing Dungeons? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We play Minecraft on, Mo Minecraft on Mondays. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? On top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Eh? Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. Alright, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, alright? I'll let them know you said hey. <laughs> da da da. Don't trust gas station egg sandwiches. <laughs> that was a fucking date! I don't. I... Nice date, my dude. Achievement progress. Keg stand champion, one of three. Can we just date everyone? Is this some Stardew Valley shit? I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles. I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot. Takes a couple of tries for them to get in. And yeah, I definitely used my verbiage to the, to scare him off. So I'm I'm kind of shocked we got a B. Can't romance the wizard. It's, God, aren't we fucking all zesty? Ugh. What a mysterious ass fucking... Ugh. Yes. Yes. I agree. I'm sure there's a mod for it. Hey, my coupons. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda. She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you want this big, old envelope we got from HIA. Right. Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. <laughs> Father, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. It's probably bad for your teeth. <laughs> she doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds yeah. it. And... The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Her face is unreadable. Hmm. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. Yes. I got in! Yay! Oh, I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Pulls away and looks at the letter again. 
Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview, and your photography is incredible. Oh no. Wait, Dad. <sighs> I know this one's really expensive, and it's so far away. I think for a moment, HIA was one of the most expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know she'd had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Hmm? Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. <gasps> Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice, wherever you want. Yeah. Wherever? Oh, God. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil-wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. Beautiful! Welcome in! Thank you for the taxes! You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. <laughs> Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a Rito with a view. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch a sip ship sail lazily through the bay. Oh, this is cute! Yeah! And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes. And there are all these galleries nearby, and there's a discount if you bring your student ID and... Amanda, slow down! You're gonna choke on your burrito! No, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? And we get all the professional photo editing software for free? St. Patrick's Goku? That's even funnier. The last one we had was Luigi Goku, and I thought that was pretty funny. St. Patrick's Luigi Goku. <laughs> Hell yeah. Goku Luigi. Fuck him. Yeah. It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. But I wish she wouldn't be... It wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interests. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Not to be confused with Mario, Vegeta. Yes, of course. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Carl ruled. <laughs> oh, they let you have animals in the dorms? If you get a note saying you need one, I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake? Or maybe both. Would the snake eat a rabbit, though? Yes. Oh boy. I'll link I'll I think I'll leave all that up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her. But I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Mm. He didn't tell you about my the dumpster fire, did he? Fucking what? No. Mm. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. I know yeah. you can do it. Okay, I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. Don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. <laughs> well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Oh my god, this is too wholesome! Huh. Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person, and I hope you know how important you are to me. So stop slacking off, Amanda. Jesus Christ! Hey, stop, you're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. <laughs> I pull Amanda in for a hug and a kiss on her forehead. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Love you too, Pops. Cute, 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 cute. Welcome. You've got Dad. That was the worst. I don't fuck. Oh, oh God. Crooked, listen. This is you from the past. God damn it. What's happening now? Whoa, how'd this happen? I figured you're trying to reply to this, because I know myself. But this is an automated message from you earlier this morning, when it was socially unacceptable to go out and buy ice cream. I forgot I did that. I forgot how I did that as well. The future is amazing. Listen, life is short, and ice cream should always be acceptable. But unfortunately, this isn't the society we live in. And it's less the society we live in, and more me projecting my own anxieties about being judged onto others. But you know what I mean. By the time you're reading this, is a certain time of day in which nobody will bat an eye at you for going out to buy ice cream. You know what to do. You'd be good to me. Buy that ice cream. Did the fucking Facebook just make- are, am I going on a date with Facebook? What's happening? You know what? I've earned a treat. 
Goku Luigi. Yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Goku Luigi. On the way home, I decided to stop off to grab some ice cream, which I fully plan to eat directly from the top. Spent a lot of time trying to figure out just which type of ice cream I'd like to eat directly from the tub. Rocky Road, pistachio. Oh, Amanda's probably gonna want some too. Better get two tubs. She loves cookie dough ice cream, right? Hey, mister. Whose fucking kid is this? This is Vegas, right? I turn around to see Ernest leaning up against the wall of the convenience store. Ernest? You're cool, right? I'm cool. I'm so cool. No way. <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm shocked you even have to ask, dude, my sir. Oh my god, I asked the wrong person. Could you just help me out? <gasps> no! He's gonna ask for alcohol! Help you out. There's no fire involved, is there? Just clouds. Will you buy me e-liquid? <gasps> this young youth... Ernest. What's e-liquid? <laughs> it's like, uh, Gatorade, you know? Electrolyte liquid. I get it myself, but I'm banned from here for trying to run a grift on the cashier. Class fiddle game. You know what the deal? Oh, my, oh, if you're talking about balancing electrolytes, then I got you, little buddy. I didn't know you played the fiddle. Just ask the clerk for blue cran raz apple vortex. He'll know what it is. For myself and two of a cookie dough for Amanda. I search around some blue... What? I'm not gonna do it, am I? I can't seem to find it any. I turn to the cashier. Say, where's your finest e-liquid? Am I just doing it? Behind the counter, you got an ID? First of all, my daughter is older than you. <laughs> Second of all, I'm flattered. I switched shampoos recently. Is that taking some years off? What the fuck did I just knock off? Look, you need to be 21 to buy vape juice. Ugh. Hair doesn't look a day over 20. Is he talking about my Goku hair? Wait a minute. He's trying to butter me up to get me to buy more ice cream. Because it's working. I glance outside and spot Ernest star staring at me. Double wait a minute. So you're telling me that e-liquid is not a sports drink? I don't know what the clerk's up to, but he... He did compliment my Goku hair, so I'm, I'm kind of in. It's for vaping. Ernest is watching us intensely through the window. I better go give that kid a piece of my mind. I see. Okay, look. I want to pretend that you didn't try to trick me into buying you the old Baphomet cough syrup and then go inside here to purchase my ice cream. I won't tell your dad if you promise to scram. Stop vaping. You get popcorn lung. What if I give you $25? Go home, Ernest. As I'm walking back inside, Ernest calls after me. You can get popcorn lung from microwave popcorn, you know. I no longer trust this child, but the mere notion strikes fear into my heart. <laughs> I go back inside to complete my purchase with a good cashier. Thank you, kind sir, for your time and generous hair compliments. You got it, bub. Glance out the window while we see Ernest still outside. Looks like he's talking to some other poor sap. Guess I should go outside and save this other guy some grief. Wait a second. That's definitely a cop. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <sighs> I grab my tubs of ice cream and bolt outside. Ernest is already face down on the hood of a squad car. Oh no! <laughs> Ernest, did you seriously just try to get a cop to buy you e-liquid? Do you know this kid? Friends with his dad. My daughter goes to school with him. Never met him in my life. Uh, I'm friends with his dad. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, we live in the same cul-de-sac. I know his dad. Listen, he's a good kid and I'm this boy's father. I turn around and see... Ro I'm confused. I, I turn around and see Robert walking up the street and towards the convenience store. Mm. Ernest, what are you doing? I want a lawyer. Mm. <laughs> First of all, good. First instinct. Remember that you're not required to answer any questions from a police officer without a lawyer present. Why did I think this was... I thought this was... This was... Isn't this the fucking professor's kid? You're this boy's father? Oh. Yes, sir. Ernest likes to lash out at me like this ever since the accident. Oh, um... I don't like talking about it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Robert gets a wistful twinkle in his uh. eye. It all started seven summers ago. God damn it. My hair was long then. New metal it was still, in style. Ernest and I were down in the Florida swampland scavenging for... Sir, I can leave you to take it from here. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thanks, officer. Mm. 
Earners, come along now. You'll be cleaning ground from the rain gutter for a week thanks to this transgression. Police officer gets into his car and drives off. I'm stunned on how cool Robert was just there. Thanks. I want to say... Richard? Ouch. Huh. Don't mention it, Hemingway. Got in trouble. <gasps> He's bad. He's so bad. Don't mention it, Hemingway. Got in trouble plenty of times in my last in my life. Just trying to do my good deed for the day. Will you buy me e-liquid if I give you twenty dollars? Child, I will end you. Uh -huh. Hey, crooked. Will you walk Ernest home with me? Sure. Hey. Ernest runs ahead, presumably so he won't be seen with us, which is a thing I think kids do. He reminds me a lot of myself when I was uh -huh. his age. Well, maybe I wanted, wasn't as dumb. Seems like he tortures his dad. Seems like he tortures just about everybody. He even stole your wallet. No, he did. I pet my back pocket. I pet the rest of my pockets. He stole my wallet. Mm. Why are you doing this to yourself? I, what? Huh. Robert points at my tubs of ice cream. One of them's for Amanda. Hey. I have no qualms with the quality of the ice cream you purchase. It's a perfectly respectable amount of ice cream. It's the quality I'm talking about. Uh -huh. You work hard, crooked. You're a dad. Don't you think you deserve top shelf ice cream? But these were on sale. Huh. You're gonna treat yourself. Go big or go home. Real vanilla bean. Real pistachio. You deserve it. Hey. We arrive at the cul-de-sac and Ernest runs into his home. Uh -huh. That boy is the reason why we don't have prizes in cereal anymore. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Catch you around, crooked. Robert tosses me my wallet. I catch it with a surprised look on my face. Mm -hmm. I stole it back. He's pretty fucking cute. I won't, mm -hmm. I won't, I, nah. Keep it in your front pocket or use a chain like, <laughs> like back in your Scott days. <laughs> smell you later, see you. Why does everybody say smell you later in this? How old are we? See you, Robert. I go back into my home, ready to spend the rest of the night with two tubs of ice cream and also Amanda. Don't skip the corners. Welcome. You've got dads. Okay. How do you guys want to do this? That's the question. How do you want to do this? Do you want us to fucking just go through and date everybody? Like, what's the plan here? I don't know. Uh, what's going on with the man? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Now when I click on him, it's a little... Oh... Okay. I wish I understood what the fuck. All of them at the same time? Yeah, Dairo. <laughs> asking me to date- no, nobody's asking you for dating advice. <laughs> no, I just don't know if we should like- should we go through everybody? Or should we just streamline this shit? A little bit of all of them. Dairo, you have big, um... You don't have any of these energy, actually. There's only one Dairo. That positive reinforcement in all of my life. Hmm. Oh, oh. One second, I will be right back. My battery to my laptop is dying. Do 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 be right back. Ro Robert's gonna kill us for sure. It's gonna be hot.
Okay. I've done my research. <laughs> so, apparently, we can date everyone up until the third date. The third date not lock shit in. It might be kind of funny just to date everyone and see what's going on, you know? There's been no suave ones in this game. Yeah. No, there's a, there's a couple. There's a couple. But, uh... So yeah, do we want to just fucking go through them all? We know who are fucking. That's, that's no... Nah, that's, that's happening for sure. But, um... Sapper's the most swamp. You want to- let's date- let's go on Sapper's first date. Let's do it. I don't care whatever his fucking name is. It's Sapper. We're going on Sapper's date. Alright. Sapper. I'm Brian. I spend most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking up new ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. Yeah, exactly. What we got to lose. On a Friday night, you are most likely to see just how slowly I can cook a piece of brisket. Okay, so he's a grill guy. We gotta, we gotta, I'm, I just realized I'm fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sapper date. Okay, so he likes fishing and he likes cooking. There's a parking... Listen, I would love to have a, a fucking car that parallel parks for me because I can't do that shit. I tried that not that long ago, actually, and someone watched from the window and made fun of me. It was a friend, but, you know. <laughs> Just see how slowly he can cook that brisket. A keen understanding of steak cuts. This man knows his meat. What did you want to be when you grew up? A fireman? Were your favorite movie genre? Romantic comedies. Oh, Ideal date is deck building. <laughs> My portable fishing pole. Okay, we like to build. We like that meat. And we like to fish. How my daughter is smart. And then he's also the one who's like, my fucking daughter's better than you. Man, I don't know how I feel about hanging out with Brian anymore. But it seems like Daisy and Amanda got along really well. I already have a- I am not into Brian, okay. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hang out with Brian more for the sake of the kids. Crack my knuckles and start typing. Hey Brian, great grabbing burgers with you at the cookout yesterday. We should get the kids together and hang out soon. Wait a couple minutes until a ding comes back from the computer and a message pops up on my screen. It's Brian. Let's see what he has to say. Dairo, I don't need to look down at my fucking chat and see I'll grab your burgers. You stop that shit. Get it out of here. He signed his name. That's cute. <laughs> Always love a good bird with a buddy. We should definitely hang out. What do you think about mini golf? We could bring the girls out and have ourselves a little friendly competition. God damn. That's what he's... Sapper, is this how you are? Is everything a competition? Is that what it is? Friendly competition. This is perfect. I know, Amanda. And I will crush Brian in mini golf. Been taking her to mini golf courses since she was a little kid. And I'm proud to say that she's almost better at it than I am. Almost. I tie back. That sounds great, man. Name the time and place and we'll be there. Hey, Amanda. Hmm. Hey, would you be up for some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? Hey. I'm a little out of practice. And I know my backswing links something to be desired. But I think I could keep it in the negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Oh, look, you can see all the hand drawing. Oh, I love that. I love when games are hand-drawn. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You ready for this? All right. R, matey. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Why are you talking like that? Hmm. Because this mini golf course is pirate-themed. Don't tell my wife. Just now realized that we are indeed standing on top of a giant pirate ship in the middle of the putt putt course. Oh. Yeah. Come on, pirate dad. Won't you talk like a pirate with me? Arr, ahoy, um, scurvy. I don't see pirates, only angles. A vast G, there's no time for jokes. This is fucking mini golf. Who are you? Who says that? A vast G. 
I'll make Brian and Daisy walk the plank with my superior golfing abilities. I mean, uh, doubloon? Come on, Dad. Tell me that's this was gonna just be some friendly competition. Friendly competition is dad code for actual competition. I need to prepare my body, mind, and soul to defeat Brian on the field of glorious battle. <sighs> Hit me with weird fact, my guy. Speaking of weird fact, it's, uh, my ad timer went off, so we gonna, we gonna add while Sapper tells me this weird fact. Back in three minutes, guys. Three minutes. If you're still here, thank you so much for supporting the channel with your subscription. I super, super appreciate it. It helps out a lot. You're the best. Glorious dad battle. Glorious dad battle. Fuck yeah. I don't I haven't put putt in so long. God, this shit is fun. I don't know why I haven't done it in so long. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. It's just mini golf. It's just mini golf. It's so much more than that. I kneel down and place a hand on Amanda's shoulder. I just want you to know that there's no pressure. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it too much. But we have to beat Brian at mini golf. <laughs> Nameplate of mine. I need you all to turn to the uh, the live chat. How is this happening, Sapper? What the fuck? Why do you have a nameplate that says Brian? Art is the fucking metaverse coming apart? What is this? What the fuck? <laughs> what am I even Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. How do I do that? Do what? Do what? Do what? Do what? I can't why do you have that? See the nameplate. Oh, um, oh, Discord. Yeah, go click on the link and you'll join our Discord. It's in the, the live chat. So during uh, during stream, the live chat I have open, so you guys can send me stupid shit. And uh, Sapper has just produced a nameplate that says Brian Fink, and says this is a legit nameplate of mine. I don't understand. You're gonna. I'm. I need answers, Sap. When we beat them, Amanda gives me a side eye. But before I can side eye her back, I spot Brian and Daisy. Uh. Hoy there, mateys. Huh. Last name you don't need a candy to know it, but it works in a lot of foreign countries. That would call me Brian or Fink because of it. Oh. I might have a nameplate that says. Ma Why do you all have nameplates that just say random names? Oh, no worries, Valorous, no worries. That's just, that's our big, like, hub of, uh, for the channel offline, and I guess technically online as well. You can play this, uh, that's fucking weird. Brian walks up with Daisy in tow. It looks like they're already rented us some golf clubs for our mini golf excursion. Total power move. Why didn't I think All of right. that? All right, first mate. Heard there's buried treasure in these waters. You gonna help me plunder it? Oh, Amanda, I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just to play putt putt on. Dad. <laughs> Amanda gives Daisy a look. Eh? I mean, aye aye, Captain. Daisy winks at Amanda. Uh. Look at those two. They're two peas in a pod. So, you excited to get some mini golf in? Oh, you know it. You a gambling man? I know when to hold them. Depends on what's on the table. Do I get you if I win? Oh my god! Just fucking let. This is not in our character whatsoever. I know when to hold him. He fucking threw eggplants at us. That's serious. I know when to fold. Hey. I know when to. Uh, shoot, that's pretty much all I know how to do. How about the loser buys drinks tonight? When it comes to Sam. <laughs> Alright, but now we're about to make it more interesting. Yeah, this guy really fucking eggplants at us. I think eggplant, like, the hearts are like, oh, he liked what you said, but I think the eggplants is like, you know. I'm listening. Those are us to mow the winner's lawn for this weekend. Oh, shit. Uh. Well, my yard's pretty big. Are you prepared to take that on? 
I think you should be a little more concerned with how you're gonna maneuver around my hedges. It's highly technical work. Not for the faint of heart. I don't think I'll need to worry about that. I'm very mini- I'm good at mini golf, you know. Oh yeah? Hole in one. Every time. What I just said is not a true thing, but it already came out of my mouth, so I have to stand by it. Looking forward to see that happen. Brian and I <laughs> each other up and down. May the best dad win. Oh shit, the gauntlet. Brian and I shake hands and lock eyes. It's about to go down. Oh no. <gasps> it's us! Oh shit. Oh. Oh, I don't get to aim. I just... Oh shit! How am I good at this? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Lost your ball. Oh no. How the fuck? I'm really good at this. Why did I say anything? You've lost your ball. <laughs> You've lost your ball. What the fuck? It hits too hard! Or it throws too hard! Or... You've lost your ball. How do I make it not go so fucking fast? I don't understand. You've lost your ball. It went so well. Yo ho ho with a hole full of ball. Uh Okay, we want it to bounce. How? Oh. Dead men sink no putts. Dead men sink no putts. It's too fast! You've lost your ball. I'm so bad at this. How did I get an A? Achievement unlocked. Yo ho ho ho. Amanda pulls me aside while Brian and Daisy start walking to the next hole. Uh -huh. Hey, you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time trying to destroy Brian underfoot. I know, it's fucking- I've, like, f fucking clubbing that shit. It's not that lot far, like, what? Hmm. I just asked because your eye is twitching. <laughs> no, it's not. I feel my left eye twitch. Amanda raises her mm -hmm. eyebrow. We're out here to have fun, remember? It's just a game. You're right. It is just a game. A game of extremely high stakes that we are currently losing. Huh. Eh? Please, Amanda. Please nail this next hole for me. I need your help now more than ever. Hmm. It's really that important to you. Sure. Amanda walks over and tees up for a particularly hard windmill hole. Gripping her club, she winds it up and launches the ball into the parking lot. She looks me right in the eye and does an exaggerated hmm. shrug. Oops. <laughs> I do disagree with her actions, but I appreciate her act of youthful defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. That was for your own good. Love you, kiddo. Oh shit, I'm doing it again? Okay, how possibly... Where would I even begin to fucking ball. aim? Hold on, let's try some weird shit. Uh, it was a nice Dead thought. Sink no pots. How do you do anything? It's too fast! You've lost your ball. And a hole full of ball. And a hole full of ball. <laughs> that was Dead me just sucking ass. Pots. How? Oh, okay. Ride. I'll take it. <gasps> it's a skull! Cute. Cute, cute. Oh my god! Oh help! You've lost your ball. Who did this? Oh, I was hopeful. You've lost your ball. He was a Oh, more skull. Oh, this is cool. Fuck. <laughs> How 
where are they getting this A from? Try to maintain an air of professionalism because there are children present. But I can feel the crushing weight of the four dads before me casting a disappointed look upon my broken frame. I've failed you fathers, and for that, I am sorry. Uh. Man, that was some good shooting there, Crooked. Thought Valiant Amy, my only, only regret was being bested. I have lost lost at putt putt. <laughs> Mini golf is beneath me. This is a dad joke, which everyone I'm sure will appreciate. Yeah, he liked that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Mando groans. <laughs> R. Daisy, did you have a good time? Yo ho ho, I did. We haven't even found the buried treasure yet. I think we would need to apply for a permit to dig around here. Take Daisy home so we can get the city paperwork started for digging. You two go and enjoy your ah. night. Sounds like a pan plan, Crooked. You will kill with that. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, don't get yourself into too much Gee. trouble. Can do all. Make sure we get into a perfectly reasonable amount of trouble. And then Daisy skip away, yelling about buried treasure. Bless that kid's tiny, rebellious heart. <laughs> well, guess we should hit the bar now. It's actually a tiki bar attached to this place. How about that? That sounds like a plan. I guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which I'm not jazzed about considering I just completely blew it on the putt-putt course. Okay, Dad, you can do this. Just gotta drown my sorrows in some tropical loser drink and get out of here. Man, I'm not very nice to Sapper, am I? Brian and I are walking to the Freaky Tiki, a kishy island-themed bar. Palm trees adorn the walls and several fake parrots are strewed about. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. Uh. I know, tropical- what do you mean? Those are the best! Two pineapples and hospitality, please. The bartender whips us up two rum drinks inside of the hollowed out pineapples. He sets them on fire and we both have to blow them out before we can drink them. Doo doo doo. What the fuck? <laughs> Bye, Valerius, have a good night. Bartender, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome back, Sap. Usually I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks. If you don't want yours, I'll take it. And best me again? I think not. Oh, am I gonna get fucked up at this bar? Take a sip of my pineapple and hospitality. Sorry, I'll taste fruity. <laughs> he said, God, it is me. Well. Uh, my lawn care needs are very particular. I hope you're up for the challenge. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I'll bring my own salt to promote health gro healthy growth in a sustainable environment. Uh. Come on now, Crooked. I'm just having a little fun with you. I grumble and sip more of my fruity sorrow drink. Fine, fine. You got me on this one. I sip more of my drink, I notice a TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Makeover Deck Edition is on. I love this show. Always made me want to own a deck. Did you see him? Did you see him twitch? I trim my- Fucking Sapper. I hate this show. What do you mean? He likes dicks! Why? So clearly fake. Well, yeah, it's reality TV. Who cares? I care. I'm a general contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way they're renovating those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. There's a three week job, minimum. So you want them to cover those three weeks extensively in every episode? It can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a death deck for that long. Nobody would watch it. <laughs> I don't like any of those home improvement shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Like long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. Oh. I have terrible news for you, Crooked. Oh no, is he gonna reveal to me it's not real? No. No, not them too. That's the awful truth. Uh. All I did was just look down at fucking chat and it says I love a good dick. That's all I got. He wants a real dick. Not the ghost though, those are real. Trucks just don't have emergency emergency escape buttons. <laughs> Been lied to for so long. We both chuckle and sip on our pineapples. So wait, you're a general contractor? Ah. Sure am. I actually helped plan a, the cul-de-sac we live in. Wow, nice work. Yeah, kind of took after the footsteps of my old man. He was a general contractor too? The best. Practically built half of this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying to not become your father, then you wake up one day and there you are. Ah. But I get to work with my hands and it pays more than enough to take care of my daughter. So it's an absolute dream job. For me at least. Well that's impressive. 
building stuff has always been my weak point as a dad, and I've been okay with that until now. Now I must defeat him. <laughs> Our dad is so shallow. I do have that patio furniture that I haven't put together since still sitting in the garage. I didn't need a crescent. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I should, should cool it with my dad competition. Gotta keep it light. Tell him one of your classic jokes. Ask him about his daughter. Stare him down unblinkingly. I mean, this is what he wants, right? Yeah! Eggplants! So Daisy seems pretty smart for her age. <laughs> yeah, she's a genius. She definitely doesn't get it from her old man, though. It's actually a little embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble is really hard. I can barely make good words when I have the whole alphabet in front of me. Let alone seven letters. <laughs> Brian laughs. See, we can keep things friendly here. This is perfectly pr pleasant. I could do this all night. Because I feel an innate need to impress Brian and prove I'm better than him, obviously. That's the only reason, <laughs> I think. Let's keep it moving. Ask about his dog, complain about kids these days, compliment his beard. Um... This feels like a sapper, like... Sapper would want a beard compliment for sure, right? Yeah, look at them eggplants. Your beard is nice. It looks very healthy. <laughs> Thanks, I grew up myself. Hey, you're not allowed to dad joke another dad. Is this how our daughters feel all the time? I'm upset. <laughs> Hi, upset. I'm dad. <laughs> if you don't comp the beard, I'm out, bro. <laughs> oh, God. No! <laughs> I mean, you walked right into that one. That's Dad Joke 101. Listen, buddy. I took Dad Joke 101 years ago. I'm in the 400 level classes and well on my way to a degree in fart humor. Uh. Wow, Amanda must be so proud. She is not. <laughs> I look around the room and take in all the Kishi decorations, looking for something else to comment on. There's a gigantic fish hanging above Brian, and I gesture to it. Cool fish. It's definitely fake. What? Really? <laughs> Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over there is just a ficus with a plastic coconut glued to it. Since we were talking about decks. Are these decks that you fucking built? What is this? I look over his right, but I almost caught something like that fish once. Mine was bigger, though. Of course, yes. Of course it was. <laughs> oh, really? Yep, I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We were out at the sea for three days, catching fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught it. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon on there. Oh man, some of the best food I've ever had. That actually sounds amazing. <laughs> well, it was the last day. Everyone had gone to bed already, but I was out there watching the stars. Had my line out, too. Then all of a sudden, it just started running. Uh. And I jumped on the reel before it gets ripped out of the rod rack and starts fighting with the damn thing. I'm out there for maybe an hour. Can't call out to my shipmates. Just man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to tucker the guy out. I get him up to the surface and finally get a sight of it. The biggest marlin I've ever seen. Hemingsway-esque. I get it onto the boat and single-handedly. Uh. And you know what happens next? What happens next? Aww. The damn thing smacks me in the face with its tail. Knocks me out. I wake up the next morning on the deck. The fish is gone. Never felt dumber. <laughs> so it got away. I think there's another version of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch that fish Captain Ahab style. I'm sure Daisy would have been supportive. Aw <laughs> oh, man, fishing's the life. Haven't gone enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I having this inexplicable urge to be vulnerable with him? I can't tell him that I'm a terrible at fishing. I lean in close. Amazing at fishing. I'm the best at fishing. No one can out- <laughs> I don't get a choice. I just get to say that I'm good at it. Uh... Hmm. He's not gonna like that one. He's not gonna like that one. No one can outfish the hut. Let's say we're amazing. I'm simply the best out there. Uh. Okay, since you're such a pro, taking you fishing. Do you want to go fishing? Uh. Wait, don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. I don't know. 
Come on, it'll be a blast. Another perfect little fishing spot. I'll bring some beer so we can just sit back, relax, and reel in some trout. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on, you know you want to. Sigh. Been cornered. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Brian gives me an exuberant high five. Hey. Yes, maybe we'll see who can catch the most fish so I can get you mowing my lawn. You can try to beat me, but they don't call me crooked good at catching fish crocus for nothing. That's fucking right. Wh I just turned to the right and saw my live chat. What in the hell? Is that a can of solid beans? What? Dyro, what is that? Dyro, explain yourself. What the fuck am I looking at? I don't... Why is it the shape of a can? Fix it, you fucking freak. I'm spinning a web of lies that I fear will only one day consume me. Beans are all we care- What do you- I asked you! Did you do that- the- the- the thing? That's how a can re Well, yeah, but then I don't think you fucking cook them that way, buddy. I- I don't- maybe I don't know my way around a refried bean, but... I think you gotta make it look a little different. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time, it's a great oppert opportune uh, tea for friendship. I'm really excited. Kiss my bass, Brian. <laughs> oh, God. No worries, Creeper. Have fun. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, this is a great opportunity, I think. The first two are before photos, the last two are after. That's fucking crazy, dude. I don't have any of that. Oh, God. He loves it. Also, we're catching more fish than Brian. You're crawling me up with these puns, Crooked. Mull it over. You'll come around to the fish-related dad jokes in no time. Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see that competitive fire in his eyes. This is gonna become a whole thing, isn't it? Oh. Once Brian takes over babysitting duties, Amanda walks home with me. She's immediately plops down on the couch and flips on the TV. So, how was your hang with Brian? It was okay. Oh yeah, he seems a little like a neat dude. I was really hoping that I had my neat dude beanie on. I think so. I don't know the guy who loves a good com competition, but then again, apparently so do I. Paver stones? No, why are you breaking stones? Don't do that. What did you and Daisy end up doing? Oh, we hunted for treasure for a bit, but Daisy was really adamant about not digging without a permit. So we just watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put her to bed and then sat around eating Brian's food. Hmm. Don't tell him I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. You broke a kidney? Is that why you've been in the hospital? Is that what's going on? Because Jesus Christ. I've heard that's, like, one of the most painful things a human can experience is, like, fucking bladder stones and stuff. Ugh. Okay, I don't- I don't- you make me uncomfortable. I don't know. What do you mean? I can't handle y'all men. I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian says she has a hard time relating to other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at her age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. <laughs> I can't believe I'm finally the cool older kid. Feels good. You gonna hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. <gasps> oh. Told him I was an amazing fisherman. <laughs> huh? You hate fishing. I know. I'm kind of panicking. Oh. Luigi Goku is about to kink shame you. Fucking get it up, get it together, get it together. Don't be fucking enjoying pissing out rocks. It's not cool. All you have to do is wake up at the crack of dawn and sit silently in a boat on a lake for hours on end with no promise of a tangible reward. Your only companion. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, I've been so busy. I'm dying. My only companion being the fear and doubt you harbor deep within your heart. Have you ever- I haven't pissed out a rock, and I'm very thankful, thank you, because I've heard that shit sucks ass. Like, it's terrible. I've- I don't know, this is probably not real, but someone has told me before that, like, it may rank, like, worse on pain scale than, like, giving birth. Which I kind of, like, could see, because it's a fucking rock. 
coming out of your dick. I don't know. No, none of that sounds fun. Sounds like a bad time. Fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself. As the world darkens around you and you wonder if it's really you staring back at yourself on the lake's reflection or simply just the abyss. Yeah, laugh it up, Amanda. You're coming with us. Huh. It's my constitutional right to outright refute this order. Daisy's coming too. Well, hmm. But I could convince Brian to bring his dog. <laughs> Fine, sold. I'm in. All right, I'm bushed. Gotta call it a night. Don't stay up too late, okay? You got it, pops. I've kept all of my stones as keepsakes. What we got here? Oh you know shit! What? We got Let a whole ass. Fuck yeah! What did he fucking say? Achievement unlocked. Welcome. Soft boy. You One out of three. That. Cute. Hey, dude. I've got the run. Don't start a conversation like that. What the fuck? I've got just the thing. Head to the store and grab you a real chunky milkshake, cherry licorice, and a book of word jumbles that I find helpful in strenuous times such as these. What? Wouldn't that make it worse? Oh, it's not for the diarrhea. Milkshakes are just comforting. Wait, why are we talking about this? If I've got the runs, I meant that I feel like I'm <laughs> That's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Jesus. Wanna come to, me with, to the gym? Why do I feel less excited about that than getting you home or remedies for diarrhea? Come on, man, it'll be fun. You know what? Sure. When are we doing this? There's 30 more minutes left in this meat hell marathon. <laughs> I'm outside right now. I'm warming up. Okay, okay. Oh, God. You love Craig? I guess we're fucking going on another date with him. At least let me see if Be Betty gets away from the wolves in time to get her super slow wrapped cheesecake out of the oven. Oh, God. Hey. What is this? The gym just installed these new virtual jogging treadmills. We'll feel like we're running outdoors. Damn, are we thirsting for Craig? Is that what this is? This man shakes his child. Bro. You can see other runners on your screen too. Let's try it out together. Other runners? Will I be able to keep up? Don't worry, we're here to cheer each other on. I'll be right there with you. Nice. Just get a rhythm going. Keep your heart rate up, but don't overexert yourself. You'll do great. Run that dad. What am I doing? I don't understand. Oh, I understand now. I think. Dude. Oh shit. What the fuck? Why am I eggplanting? Oh, so the eggplant's not good? I don't understand. I'm trying so hard, guys. I can't even speak. This is giving me Stardew yeah. fishing vibes. Am I just fucking doing good? I don't understand. I think- I hope I'm doing this right. I can't look. We know what that means. What does it mean we're like blowing a load in our pants? What the fuck is this run? I can't even look at the screen. This is so delicate. Bro. Eggplant! I hope I'm doing this right. Does it seem like I'm doing it right, chat? Or am I way behind everyone? Fitness dates suck. Jesus Christ. 
fitness. Yeah, I get it. I get it, man. Why, why? I don't, I don't know. 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 Maybe the eggplants aren't good? I don't fucking, I can't. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My eyes are going crossed. How long are we gonna do this? Listen, he's old, okay? Leave him alone. Bro. cans of Pringles in five minutes? Brother, you have got to see someone about something. You guys are being very daddish in the comments. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Was that good? Way to go. Welcome. You've got dad. That was it? Wait, so was that a was that a date? No, that wasn't a date. That was just a random fucking thing. Interesting. Okay, well my plan, now that I understand how this works, is that we're gonna go on all the dates, because I wanna see him. And then we're gonna date my man. And then we're gonna see how that goes. And then I guess once the game is over, we can go back and do everybody's third date, just to see what it's like. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. But, since y'all got what you wanted. All right, how do you do? I've finally decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entertaining sh entirely sure how this works, but I will try my best to understand. Love long strolls through the graveyards and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest Victorian fashion, the inevitability of our own demise or black cats, please send me a letter. <sighs> Listen to a true crime podcast by Taxidermy, my na- <gasps> Taxidermy is so fucking badass. If you had to take one thing out of just a coffin, what do you turn on? It's pronouncing bosom correctly. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? A bat. Is this just fucking... Is this just grim as a human? Is that what's happening right now? Is that why I'm in love with him? For an, art, for an art house horror. Hell yeah. What's your ideal date? It's night. We are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. <gasps> oh, what do you never leave home without? An upside down cross. I spent a lot of time thinking about <laughs> mortality science. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I love him with all my heart. I want to fuck him. Let's do it. Damien seems really interesting. A little odd, but interesting. I think we should hang out with him to get to know him a little better. Navigate to Damien's dad book page and try out a message. That's fucking right, Dairo. Hey dude, you seem cool. We should hang out sometime. I sit there for a minute before I see that Damien's typing. But then he keeps typing. And typing. Man, is Scott writing a novel? I leave the computer to make some coffee. And he's still typing. Sip my coffee and the computer finally dings. Oh god. 
Oh, whoa, there's more. Crooked, I must confess my excitement to be receiving your kind letter, for, as you see, I do find myself available to enjoy your company. Must ask for your forgiveness, however, as I believe our first meeting did not paint me in a gentlemanly manner as I would have liked. I would be highly flattered to enjoy your companionship at my residence for an afternoon tea and a stroll around my garden, should it please you. Till then, adieu, yours humbled, D. Bloodmarch. I stared at the screen and reread the letter several more times. How many bosoms can we sleep and stick into the conversation? That's a good qu Oh my god, if that's not an option for a dialogue, please. Hey, Amanda. Can you help me with something? Ugh. Dad, for the last time, I'm not popping your back pimples. No, no. Can you interpret this for me? <laughs> ah. Turn the computer to Amanda and she squints at Damien's message. I just don't understand NetSpeak. Like, is this how you kids communicate with each other now? Hey. Oh, totally. This is the hot new thing. See, dads? Kids got over saying lol and LMAO or whatever and decided that what they needed to do was bring it back to the 1800s. So what do I do? Hmm? Where's your pen and quill? What? Did you forget to unpack the pen and quill? Dad, how will we address the nobleman in regards to your upcoming debutante ball? Okay, now I know you're messing with me. Father, without a proper chaperone, you'll never end up with a suitor worthy of our land. Ah. Le Mao. <laughs> or dowry. Or... So you read Pride and Prejudice for school one time, and now you're reciting things you know about it back to me, aren't oh. you? Like the first five pages. And then I read a review of the movie. Still gotta be, though. Great. So what do I say to Damien? I got this. Amanda reaches over me and types on the keyboard. Sure thing, dude. <laughs> Regards. Yes! Crooked. <laughs> and it hits send and smiles at me. Well, I suppose that's that. Oh, fucking yes. These look like little frogs! But like with goat horns and wings. Tell me that doesn't look like a little frog. I know it's supposed to be a gargoyle, but that looks like a fucking frog. This is sick. I'm hella into it. Make the short walk over to Damien's house. Well, I guess you can't really call it a house. It's more of a manor? A state? The gothic architecture looms above the other homes in the cul-de-sac. Walk past a couple of gargoyles guarding the front door and look around for a doorbell. There doesn't seem to be one. That's fucking right I am, Saber. Hell yeah. A large, ornate carved bat's head door knocker back and a hollow ec sound echoes throughout the house as I strike it against the door. Tie in, guys. And tie usually the hot date. And it's definitely sh sure thing, dude, in all those movies. Banging on everything. That's fucking right. Yeah. Wait several moments before the door <laughs> slowly creaks open. It's a little creepy, but I enter the home and take a few steps into the foyer. Noting the oil portraits of who I assume are dead relatives hanging on the wall. <gasps> Look at the skulls! Look at the skulls. They're so fucking cool! As I'm admiring them, the front door slams shut behind me. Hello? Silence. An oil lamp in the corner flickers dimly, casting ominous shadows against the wall. Why do I feel like all the people in these paintings are staring straight at me? Why is it so cold in here? Where's Damien? Crooked. Pleasure to have you in my home. Oh, fuck yeah. Look up and see Damien standing at the top of the majestic scare staircase with a walking candle holder. Listen to the music! <laughs> What's, uh... What's with the door <laughs> slamming shut? Oh, sorry, there was a draft. The door creeping, creaking open when I knocked. I accidentally left the door unlocked. And the creepy oil paintings. I like oil paintings. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Please, let me show you around. Okay. Damien leads me around his house, showcasing his par parlor. I can't fucking speak. Sitting room, auxiliary, auxi auxiliary, sitting room, and the parlor again for some reason. Oh. This is one of the older homes on the block, yes, but nowhere near as old as architecture might suggest. Hmm. Though extensive renovations, I've been able to craft a residence that is both historically accurate to the Victorian period and equipped with the amenities of any modern dwelling. We have passed a door covering in bumper stickers, caution tape, and a black parade poster. <laughs> Did it listen to My Chemical Romance in the Victorian era? Hmm. That's my son's room. You know how the rebellious teenage years are. Onward, onward, there's more to see. Hmm. 
reach a door at the end of the hall that Damien opens with a flourish. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sorry, something's going on with my program down here. What the fuck? Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, sorry, I had to fix that. Just excited to see. And then Victorian pants. Fucking yeah, that's right. Fucking reach a door at the end of the hall that Damien opens with a flourish. Oh. <gasps> it's a library! I am more in love with every moment. And this is the library. Sunlight streams in from floor to ceiling arched windows. The walls are lined with packed bookshelves and even more books are scattered over the period appropriate furniture. Damon is clearly really proud of this room. I'm really proud of it too. Fucking smack me in the face. Let's do this. Look out the window. Look at the butterflies. Pick up a book. That's enough on a tour. Um. Oh, these are fucking taxidermied butterflies. <gasps> That's so fucking cool. Uh, let's look at the. Oh, I'll pick up a book. This. Uh, I want to. I want to know about the butterflies. Oh, he likes. Walk up to the glass display of pin bugs on the wall. It's pretty impressive. Nice bugs. Ugh. Pin them on myself. Maybe I could show you how sometime. <gasps> concerned I would stick the pin right through my finger. Oh. The pinner's gambit. Is that a thing? Hmm. No. <laughs> uh, look out the window, pick up a book. That's fucking right. Sapper, you can't enable me. You gotta get out of here, bro. Pick up a book. Oh. I like the noises he makes. <laughs> you know, Crooked, in the Victorian era, there was some controversy surrounding reading. Many people thought the more tawdry novels would encourage youths into a life of crime. It would cause too much of a distraction from work and school. That's probably true, because back in the, like, 1800s, anything that made sense, they were like, oh no, fuck that. Yeah, nobody read. Don't read, it'll make you stupid. Pull out a book at random and examine the worn cover. Opening it, I turn to a random page and read aloud. Naruto struggled against the chains that Sasu- Sasuke had bound him with. Shirtless and out of breath, he looked up at Sasuke. Sasuke smirked, unbuttoning his ninja- Is this fucking fan fiction? Do we just find fucking Naruto fan fiction in his library? Oh. I think that's enough. Keep going. What do you mean, how the heck am I pronouncing these? Sasuke. Naruto. What are you talking about? That's how you pronounce them. You're making me, you're making me uh, confused. Is that, have I been pronouncing things the wrong way? Sasuke, yeah. Naruto. Naruto. What are you talking about? I'm waiting on you, Dairo. Yeah, Sasuke. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm not fighting with you. Damien snaps the book shut and puts it on back onto the shelf. That's a rare book from my private collection. Suzuki, the all new Suzuki. Ninja. I have a confession that I don't think is obvious or probably is super obvious. I've never watched Naruto. I don't know anything about it. Pretty much as far as my anime goes, I know, like, any of the anime I, I do know about, I know, like, everything about. And then the rest of it, I don't, like, I either know nothing about an anime or I know everything about an anime. Yeah, I don't, I've never watched Naruto. I've heard there's, like, 8 billion episodes, which I just can't commit to. It's just so much, man. So much. Favorite anime. Um, Brotherhood, for sure. Brotherhood. No, 100%. Yeah, 100%. I like every anime that I like, I fall in love with, and then I'm like, I'm gonna know everything about this shit. That's the thing is, like, I don't wanna be that way, but like, I just don't have fucking time. Like, 
Seven billion, nine million plus some change, basically eight billion though. Yeah. FMA Brotherhood has, is like my, oh God, so fucking good. So good. Oh, such good storytelling. Look out the window, that's another tour. Okay, look out the window. I walk to the window and I'm greeted by a beautiful view of Damien's backyard. It showcases a beautiful view of the rest of the cul-de-sac. Hey, I can see Craig on his lawn. He's doing push-ups with his daughter on his back. Damn. Sees me and waves happily, doing push-ups with one hand now. Damn. Hmm. Did you know that Victorians spend at least 20 hours a week gazing longingly out of a full-length windows? Wait, really? Uh. No, but Victorians did appreciate telling a good uh -huh. joke. Please, will you join me for tea? Follow Damien to a sitting room where finger foods have already been set up onto a beautiful tiered silver tray. I take a seat on one of the high back chairs as Damien pours and serves me some tea. Can't believe we're having a high tea. Never thought I'd get to do this. <laughs> Damien smiles to himself. What? How delightful. It's a common misconception that high tea refers to the wealth of, or class of the people enjoying it, when in fact the high refers to both the later time of day that the working class had to enjoy tea and the height of the tables on which they served. Is that a thing? Are you making shit up? Because that's super interesting if that's real. Oh. <laughs> Oh. My dear friend, you're currently enjoying afternoon tea. You can finger my fruits, Dairo. I need you to go chill. The <sighs> Start my favorite <laughs> flavor text for the campaign. That's informative. It is. It's interesting. Damon takes a seat next to me and serves me a tiny sandwich. Your home is really impressive. Are there a lot of goths in Maple Bay? I like your cape. I feel like this one would probably piss him off. I bet he, there's going to be something like he's like, it's not a fucking cape, you pleb. Uh, a lot of gops in Maple Bay. Your home is really impressive. Uh, he's very proud of his home. Yeah. Seems like you've really put a lot of work into this place. Thank you. No one's ever complimented my home before. Hell, I can barely get matching salt and pepper shakers at my place. Look what you've done. Kind of jealous. That's very generous of you to say. What got you so interested in goth oh. stuff? Well, when I was a young boy, my father... Did he take you into the city? Mm. Sorry? Did you guys see a marching band? Mm. Afraid I don't understand. You're serious? Mm. Of course. But it's... You know... Song. Amanda made me listen to it. Seriously? Mm. I love to see a marching band. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, I've always had a love for art, history, and fashion. What started off as a small hobby of collecting taxidermied animals grew into sort of an obsession. It's a privilege to be able to appreciate the lives and culture of those who came before us, I think. I agree. Just Listen, man, he could be hiding fucking anything under there. He could be- oh, you just wait. Why not- I'll go all the way. I like not dying when I catch a cold. Takes a sip of tea. <laughs> Can acknowledge that there were many very terrible things about the Victorian era. And to try to live a life that strictly aligns with those ideals would be admittedly horrid. Oh. But I think it takes a critical mind to truly appreciate something to the fullest. To be cognizant of its flaws and love it all at the same time. Oh my god! I am gonna f fuck you silly. This is so real. Yes. 100%. When's the ad break I have to be? We can make it an ad break. It's 15 minutes away. Happy ad break, everyone. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Uh, if you're still here. If this would be three minutes, three minutes. We sit here for a minute. Oh. God, he's so pretty. Oh, Jesus. Here, I'm gonna go get a drink. Right back.
Sap, are you back from peeing? Are we doing this? <sighs> Curious about the straight line of this game. If your wife and Amanda wasn't adopted, would it be the same game? Do you do dates with the ladies? No, I think it just means that you would be bi. I think that's what it is. Cause yeah, it's all, it's, there's no like stories, like lines for the women. Yeah. Come on, Arrow, get your shit together. I gotta get to the screen. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, okay, okay. There's Brian. Huh. Hey, tell me, Crooked. Do you have any hobbies? Oh man, I do. But I don't know if you care- if I care about anything the way you care about this stuff. Uh. Well, love to hear about your interests. Hearing someone talk about the things they're passionate about is intriguing and quite honestly rather attractive. Hmm. Please, do tell me about your hobbies. Quick, sound sophisticated. <laughs> Watching soap, making videos on the internet. Love me some word jumbles. I learned how to juggle once. We're really cool, man. Are you really bitching about me calling it an arrow? You got- you know what? I see some people with some very specific interests that need to chill out. You're just wrong. <laughs> oh, my brain. Okay, soap baking videos is pretty funny. Um, if I had to pick one of these three, I would say word jumbles. Because when I'm bored on like an airplane or something, like word stuff can be really fun. He's wrong. I don't want to be right. <laughs> word jumbles. The uh, written word fascinates me. We spend so much time using words, you know? And uh, I think people would appreciate them more if they had to unjumble them. Ah. It's poetic, really. Mm. Oh, so you're a writer? In a sense. We finished our tea and finger sandwiches. Ah. Come, I have one more thing to show you. Ew! Damien takes me around the back of his home where a variety of flowers flourish in beautiful landscape rows. A small stone path weaves through it and butterflies flit lazily through the air. My garden! It's beautiful! It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, fucking, that's right. Thank you. Victorians took flowers and floral arrangements very seriously. You see, it was considered uncouth to dis discuss personal and romantic relationships in public, so lovers and friends alike would use bouquets to send secret messages to each other. Each flower and plant is symbolic of different feelings. Huh. Even more interesting is that one flower could mean different things depending on the other plants it was paired with. One had to be extremely careful as even the style in which the ribbon was tied around the bouquet affected the message. I feel like I remember this being a thing. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like this was, there was like a whole language women had with like, I can't remember if it was hats. I, this was a fucking thing though, for sure. People like weren't allowed to talk. What? Yeah, what's, yeah, it's a bouquet. Isn't it? Yeah, where is the bosoms? What do you say, bouquet? It's bouquet. What are you talking about? I, you, you fucking. I swear to God, I can't handle you fuckers tonight. It's bouquet, right? Oh, I said it that way? Oh, I may have been just reading really fast. Yeah, no, it's bouquet. No, if that's what I said, then yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> I thought you were telling me that it wasn't bouquet. Yeah, no, I probably just read it too fast. <laughs> Say a thing a little less than over a bosom. That's fucking right. Hmm. Damien learns down and plucks a gorgeous bright orange flower off of a vine. Ah. Lilium bulbiferum. The orange lily. What do you think this one means? My loins are ablaze. Thou, whoa. <laughs> Thou art the tightest. Three cheers for sweet revenge. 
<laughs> Bodie's nuts. Yeah. These are some interesting. That's true. Yeah, you have Sapper. These are really fucking funny. My loins are ablaze is really fucking funny. <laughs> I love using the word loins, dude. It's so. Oh, what a good word. That's option said three chests for sweet revenge. I was like, hey, what? My loins are ablaze. <laughs> Orange lay is actually symbolic of pure hatred. Well, hmm. that's precisely why floral arrangement is so challenging. What's your favorite type of flower? Oh, honeysuckles, sunflower. Snapdragons, of course! Our, dra our plant dragon cousins. Because they're cute. You can do that thing where you squeeze and so it looks like they're talking. What a lovely choice. I'll have to remember that when I put together a bouquet for you. You'd put together a bouquet for me? Nobody's ever given me a bouquet before. <laughs> Sapper said honey suckle that dick. That's really good. Fucking, I can't handle y'all. Uh, Follow Damien down the footpath and admire more of his beautiful flowers. Suddenly, a phone rings. Huh. Oh, crooked. Will you excuse me? I must take this. Pulls a cell phone out of his pocket. I'm a little surprised it's not a rotary phone. Go for it. <laughs> Smiles and walks back to the house. I take a deep breath and enjoy the heavily perfumed air. What a lovely yard. This makes you wish I'd put a little more effort into that garden Amanda and I tried to start one time. Our watermelons grew to the size of cherry tomatoes and then immediately died. Oh, hey. A gargoyle. Oh, no, I knocked over the gar- Oh, shit! Why did I do that? that guard. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is happening? I don't understand what I'm doing. That's what it looks like. I'm really bad at this. I don't understand. That's a bit. This is a hundred percent it. These are the little legs and the feet. I'm too stupid for this. I'm gonna freak out. Can you not flip it upside down? Yeah, it is upside down, you're right. But I don't think I can- <gasps> Stupid. God damn it. Out of time. How am I supposed to fucking know that I can turn it upside down? I'm so mad. <laughs> Crap, 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 I can't figure this out. Oh, here comes Amy, he looks upset. Hope it's not about the guard. My sincerest apologies to have kept you waiting. There's an urgent matter that I must attend oh to, so. Oh my. Crooked, did you break my gargoyle? All I did was lean what? on it. Just had it installed last week. N no matter, I suppose it will give me a chance to work on my masonry uh. skills. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm afraid I must take my leave. Oh shit, we fucked up. That's no problem, dude, everything all right? Uh. Damien worries the hem of his coat with his fingers and looks away. Everything is perfectly fine, but I, uh, it's Lucian. What's wrong? Here's to have, well, his teacher needs me to come to the school post haste. Do you need help? Oh no, you don't have to. Let me come with you. Us dad's gotta stick together. You're right. This one of Lucian's more elaborate stunts. I would greatly treasure having another parent by my side. Let's go. Hmm. He's smoking that reefer. <laughs> Damien and I walk into the school and are immediately greeted by an anxious looking Hugo. Uh, hey Damien, you're here in record, record, <laughs> record time. I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Wow, whatever it is, it doesn't seem like this is Hugo and Damien's first time to the My Kids Are In Trouble rodeo. God damn it. Huh. What is it this time? Oh. It's Damien, you have to see this, believe. Damien and I fall into step behind Hugo, who leads us through the busy corridor of the school. We pass by several other classes in session. I vaguely wonder if Amanda's around. Hugo eventually ushers us into a small boiler room with a flight of rickety stairs leading down into darkness. Watch your step. 
I can hear faint voices drifting up from the basement and they don't sound happy. And I'm led into the depths of the school. I recall the antics I got into as an angsty middle schooler. At least I had enough sense to stay out of creepy basements. We find another teacher in a boiler room tucked away in the back of the basement. With him are Lucian and Ernest, Hugo's son. Lucian has a bloody nose. Thanks for coming. I can't make heads or tails of this. I look around the scene of the crime and see a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered around. What happened here? Ernest punched me. Lucian tried to kill me. <sighs> the room falls silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to break a brick wall around you and see what would happen. <laughs> Promise me there was wine down here. You tricked me. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Lucian, did you try to cask of a mon... I don't know fancy thing. Um, a montilladado? Ernest? I'm neither confirming nor denying that. Turn to Davian and whisper to him. What's... Uh... Yeah. I, I really did fare. What it cast of a montilladado? A montilado. A montilado! A montilado. I don't know why they wouldn't... I wanted an extra D in there. Huh. A montillado. A montillado! It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe short. Oh, I need to read. I have a fucking full thing of Edgar Allan Poe's work that I've never gotten around to reading. Huh. I just missed all of that because I was talking. It's a lovely story, so wait. I oh, shouldn't you try to do that to him. I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually gonna leave him there. What was the thought process here? That Ernest was just going to sit still while you were slowly building a tomb around him? Dyro's wrong too? I'm just good at spelling out pronunciation. What? Amon Amonteado. I'm, I, I, fucking whatever. Well, it worked for like 20 minutes because he's an idiot, but then he realized that I had lied about the wine. You were cackling maniacally. <laughs> that sort of tipped me off. Ernest, 20 minutes? Dad. Huh? Took you 20 minutes? Son, we just did an entire two weeks until the cast of Amontillado. I can't do it, and it took you 20 minutes to realize Lucian was leading you into an elaborate ruse? Did you even read the story? I read the first five pages and then read a review of the movie. Oh shit, this must be the way. Sweet Manchego. <laughs> he said sweet Manchego. It's only five pages long and there is no movie. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I paid Lucian to read it for me. Uh. Actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was te teaching him a lesson. Spell things is, ah, yeah, that's you, Dyro. David and Hugo both have their heads in their hands. <laughs> You guys are always telling me to engage in the literature. And I did. I don't see a problem here. Alright, I'm filling this under what the hell. Don't do. Whatever that was. Again. Two are both suspended for a week. Ernest and Lucian high five. Teacher starts to stomp up the stairs. Hugo, I'll cover your class. Take your son home. Mr. Blood March, you too. Thank you for your me mediation. We all head up the stairs and out of the school in tense silence. That fucking sucks. Lucian, Damon, and I all par pile into my car and begin the drive home. Lucian immediately puts his hood up and stares out the window angrily. Not going to therapy again. <sighs> ah. I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to go. But I care about you, and I can see you've, you're struggling. So if you do decide that you would like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that, too. Huh. Maybe you can spend this next week looking for a summer job? Hmm? I know how much you want, to, uh, you want your own car. I can't believe Damien's keeping us cool. I'm impressed. Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. Mm. I love you, son. Mm. Cute, cute, cute. Lucian continues to stare out of the window. Love you too. Oh, precious. I'm spending the rest of the drive in relative silence. When we pull into the driveway, Lucian hops out of the car, slams the door, and runs inside. Uh. Didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He and I have a lot we need to work out. It's all right. All things considered, Lucian's brick lane was pretty good. So there's your silver lining. Oh. There is that, yes. We're just going through a phase. I really admire how you handle that. This kind of thing happened a lot. Um, hmm. Never say this shit to anyone ever, because it's so fucking rude. Um... This kind of thing happened a lot. Not my business, so I'm gonna go with I really handled like uh, really. It. Uh, I don't know. Damn, it's <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, 
so uh, if you, you know... You're a lot more diplomatic with him than I would have been. Just want what's best for him. I don't think yelling at him would do either of us any favors. Rarely does. You're a good dad. He loves. See you around soon? Oh. It would be my honor and my pleasure. Damien bows a flourish. Classy. Huh. Come home to find Amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching TV. Plop down next to her. Yo! What you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. <laughs> Ugh, I hate this show. The couple on screen bickers back and forth while staying in an extremely small house made out of recycled bottles. The Tiny House Hunting Brothers watch them with bemused expressions, both of their heads touching the lower ceiling. I told you wanted a two bed, two bath, shabby chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a bathroom. But honey, the outhouse is only 20 yards away. It's not that bad. I'm not pooping outside, Greg. Why don't they just get a regular sized house? Mm. I don't know. Mm. How'd afternoon tea go? It got strange. We had to go to the school to pick up Lucian since he tried to... Mm -hmm. He lured Ernest down to the cellar with the promise of a fine vintage and then try <laughs> try <laughs> tried to brick him into the wall, right? Uh... How did you know that? Has everyone read this story except for me? Lucian live streamed the entire thing. <laughs> yes. This is what kids are up to nowadays. Fucking every 10 bits is a brick, bro. This entire day is beyond me. But otherwise, it was a fun day. That Damien guy's a character, but he's really good company. And a surprisingly diplomatic dad. I dig his style. You know what? Me too. Cute, cute, cute. You're never too busy or important to be kind to others. Like, let's see how we did. <laughs> Fuck Simply yeah! Marvelous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome. All you right. Got dads. Is that fucking okay? I'm not gonna click on this, but that's surely supposed to be Amazon, right? Socials and kids, bad news. Yeah, you fucking... Jesus Christ. Alright, babies. It's about that time. For the end of the stream. Um, I, I'm i happy that I now understand exactly what is going... Like, I wasn't quite sure how this was gonna go. But, no, this is cool. Because we get to, like, meet everybody. And then, um, obviously, you know, we know who we'll end up with. But then, uh, we can actually go back in and see what everybody's uh, endings are, so. Yeah, it'll be fun. But we're gonna stop here, because it's a good spot. Uh, so I guess next time, we'll figure out what's going on with the other four. Matt and Robert and Hugo and Joseph. God, Joseph is gonna be wild. His whole fucking thing with the his wife, you know? I don't know. All right. Whoops, how the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, this game is so cool. This is such a good idea. It's very game grumps. Oh. goodness babies oh my goodness <sighs> so sorry I was so tired tonight it has been a fucking lot Ugh. everything's gonna be so much better though once I move so much easier it's gonna be a good time um, I love you all to bits um, I guess I'll see you you got all the points I don't know what that means, but you get all those points. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Super fun, good times. I'll see you on Monday uh, for some Minecraft. We're going to be hunting some wither skeletons so we can unleash the wither. Oh, our, da our date was swell. It was good. You and your fucking kid, man. 
I can't get over that fucking plaque you have. That's so funny. Oh, God. So bizarre. <sighs> Guys, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do is by subscribing. If you've already subscribed, consider gifting to a friend. We do like to love on each other here. If you're a lurker, we love lurkers. You don't have to say nothing to be part of the community. Totally fine. No worries. Uh, just consider following us. You can hang out with us. Make sure you win the Discord. Check that shit out. You're gonna love it. Send me all sorts of things besides peens. Sapper will come and smack you in the head if you send peens. No peens. No peens. None of that. Thank you for the five biddies, Cinny. I love you so much. Those, oh, are they little corgis? That's so cute. Guys, we on all the things. We on the tick. We on the you. We on the face. We on the IG. Even if you just go over there and never look at it again and just drop us a sub or a like or anything like that, any time you interact with the socials, it helps. It helps out so much. Um, so thank you so much. Even if you just go over and write the word comment for a comment. <laughs> That's what I do for a lot of YouTubers that I like. Um, believe it or not, it helps out a lot. So um, This is fucking funny. It's so, so funny I accidentally hit it twice. Don't believe in socials? Well, you better figure it out. I don't either, but... Like my Twitter, I just have one because I was told I have to have one. If you have Amazon Prime, you can just get a free Prime sub. Just link them together with your Twitch. Check right now. You may actually have your Prime sub up if you've already uh, got it all linked up. It's just free free support for the channel. Hell yeah. Good times. As always, I'll be able to donate to the stream. Also, your... Yeah, it's hella fire, right? <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, yeah, super, super fire. Uh, if you able to donate to the stream, greatly appreciate it. Helps out a lot. Makes the channel bigger and better. Feeds me and the babies, and it uh, helps for things like me moving. So thank you. Appreciate it. You're the best. MechanicalKeyboards.com is our wonderful partner. Go get you some cool shit. You can customize all sorts of cool things from them. I love them so much. Use code Crooked to support the channel. Yay! Check out the merch shop. Get you a spermy T-shirt. Or a fucking, you're very welcome hoodie or something. Just go get you some goodies so you can come support. And then make sure if you do buy anything, I want to see, I want to see your pictures of you and your merch. So definitely make sure it makes it onto the Discord. Um, <sighs> going to sleep for eight years. Um, let's see, who is on? My arm? What's wrong with my arm? What's wrong with my arm? What are you talking about? You're scaring me. What's wrong with my arm? My arm? Oh, is it for my tattoo? Yeah, it fucking does that. <laughs> Raided her in a hot minute. Um, we did actually raid her recently, but let me see. D -d -d. Let me see. Oh, she's playing Sunhaven. Have we raided Creature? I swear we just raided her, but you know what? I could be misremembered. Fuck, you know what? Who fucking cares? It's Creature. Let's just raid her. I don't give a fuck. Even if we raided her yesterday. <laughs> she's, she's cool. Guys, we're gonna send you over to the Creature Collector. Super cool friend of the channel. Love her to death. Um, yeah, just, just go say hi. If you could stay for even five minutes for the raid, just so you can, you know, participate in the raid, Use a little whelps flying in tag. Spam that shit right there. Spam, spam, spam. So we can love on her. Um, greatly appreciate it. You do get extra channel points for participating in the raid. Which you can use torture me with. Which I know you love to do. So yeah. But then uh, if you got more time, hang out with her. Super cool streamer. You're gonna love it. And it looks like she might be playing some Pokemon. So obviously you have an idea. I don't like the sound of that. That sounds like a bad time. <laughs> But I'm waiting with bated breath. You know, I always make this mistake with creature. It's not creature collector, it's the creature collector, which I'm sure people do with me as well because it's not crooked dragon, it's the crooked dragon. Well, I'm flying in! That's fucking right! Alright, let's see what creature up to. Oh, I love her artwork. Wait, did she just get off? It 
it says she's offline. Did she just get off? Let's see. Oh, she did. She just got off. Boo. Boo. Creature collector. How fucking dare you? <laughs> God damn it, dude. <sighs> Creature collector playing Pokemon. Okay, that means I have to draw a shark. Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna be bad. I don't... This is gonna be so fucking terrifying. Playing Pokemon. Okay, okay. I need to find a pin. In amongst all this nonsense I have on this desk right now. So I can get my points back. I have the ability. What? You don't want me to draw it now? Line. Okay. Fuck you, rocket ship music. Alright, babies. Um. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -ba. You know what? We haven't said hi to Josh in a while. Let's go say hi to Josh Perry's. I love him. He's so precious. He's such a good streamer. I watch him sometimes just to, like, learn how to be a better streamer because he's really, really good at, uh, keeping his chat moving. Um, he's super, super, super good streamer. So let's go say hi to him. He's very cool. Um, make sure you spam and all that shit so we can love on him. And, uh, I will see you guys Monday. It's gonna be a good time. Come watch us get our asses kicked by some wither skeletons. And then who knows what's gonna happen on Tuesday in Ark. Could be the same shit. We may just run all our dinosaurs off a cliff. Who knows? Okay, I'm back. Check on the piggies. Oh, piggies. I don't know what kind, but I love all piggies. It was a great weekend. You as well, Grunton. Good night, everyone. Good night, Grunton. Good night, Creeper. Good night, Sapper. Good night, Dyro. Good night, Sinny. Nine. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Sleep tight. I'm going to bed. Say hi to Josh for me. Bye. Boop, ding. Boop, boop, boop.